Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Russian army suffering biggest losses in decades. Zelensky says. As fighting intensifies near Kiev Euro, live. Summary of headline article. 1157 The bombings are hundreds of kilometers away from here. In Lviv. And yet the war is still visible in all of its tragic proportions. Lorenzo Tondo reports. At least 200,000 internally displaced people are currently living in Lviv. Stretching the capacity of this amazing UNESCO World Heritage Site to its limits. At the same time. Our resources are not infinite and we are close to reaching the limit. As the Russian bombardments in the east intensified. Thousands more displaced have been flowing into Lviv. Widely regarded. At least up to now. As one of the safest cities in the country. A mother with her child seen resting in a room for women and children who fled the Russian invasion. In the VIP room at the railway station in Lviv. From Metro under the main headline of Roman Abramovich disqualified from owning Chelsea by Premier League. Summary of headline article. Roman Abramovich has been disqualified from owning Chelsea. Picture. P.A. Roman Abramovich has been disqualified from owning Chelsea by the Premier League. A statement read. Following the imposition of sanctions by the UK government. The Premier League board has disqualified Roman Abramovich as a director of Chelsea Football Club. It's not only the players, Tuchel added. We have a lot of people on the staff. In the club who are maybe also worried and scared and uncertain. We didn't cause the situation. More. Roman Abramovich disqualified from owning Chelsea by Premier League more. Paul Merson expects Timo Werner to be sold after Roman Abramovich sanctions and makes Chelsea v. Newcastle prediction for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From the Sun under the main headline of Hero Ukrainians demand release of mayor kidnapped by occupying Russians. Summary of headline article. Hundreds of Ukrainians have taken to the streets to demand the release of a mayor kidnapped. Occupying Russians troops. They did not find collaborators who would hand over the city and the power to the invaders. Zelensky said in a video message. The acts of the Russian invaders will be regarded like those of Islamic State terrorists. It follows reports that Russian troops who surrendered in Ukraine face a firing squad when they return. For Zelensky compared Russian troops to ISIS terrorists in a video message credit. App. From Daily Star under the main headline of Russians, stockpiling Ukrainian corpses to stage false. Flag. Chernobyl attack. Summary of headline article. Ukraine has warned that Russia is stockpiling the corpses of Ukrainian soldiers in order to stage a false flag attack at the Chernobyl nuclear site. Planning to release radioactive waste which would then be deemed a terrorist attack. In a statement, they said, Russian car refrigerators collecting the bodies of dead Ukrainian defenders were spotted near the Antonov airport in Hostomol. Image. Sergei Malgavko, TASS. There is a possibility that they will be presented as killed saboteurs in the Chernobyl zone. Russian forces plan to use what would be a disaster to further justify the conflict in Ukraine. But there are fears that without the proper knowledge, Russian forces could trigger a chemical leak. To stay up to date with all the latest news, Make sure you sign up for one of our newsletters here. From iNews under the main headline of demonizing Putin risks making compromise impossible. And prolonging the war. Summary of headline article. 
What a lovely war which showed naive young recruits being lured to the slaughter by jingoistic slogans and a glamorized vision of the Western Front. This is the modern equivalent of popular cries of Hang the Kaiser, that became a slogan towards the end of the First World War. But this total demonization of an enemy carries a price because it makes compromise impossible and ensures that wars will be fought to a finish. Ukrainian videos showing successful skirmishes and ambushes probably give an exaggerated idea of Ukrainian military prowess and of Russian incompetence. The problem is that the hatreds generated by war gain momentum during the conflict and do not have a reverse emotional gear. From the Independent under the main headline of Boris Johnson a Euro halted home office plans to expand. Ukrainian refugee offer a Euro. Summary of headline article. Boris Johnson and officials at number 10 are said to have halted home office plans to expand the UK's offer to Ukrainians fleeing the Russian invasion. On Monday Ms Patel told The Sun she was urgently escalating the government's response and was now investigating the legal options to create a humanitarian route. As of Thursday, only 1,305 Ukrainian refugees have been granted with a visa under the Home Office's family migration scheme, despite tens of thousands applying for refuge. Leveling up Secretary Michael Gove has been tasked with setting up a new sponsorship route that will allow local authorities community groups and individuals to provide a home to Ukrainian refugees. It comes as the French President Emmanuel Macron accused the UK of failing to live up to its grand statements on helping Ukrainian refugees. From the Sun under the main headline of Abramovich Euro SA £430 million yacht docks in Montenegro amid hunt for fleeing fleet. Summary of headline article. Roman Abramovich's superyacht has been spotted docking in Montenegro amid an international hunt for Russian oligarchs' assets. My Solaris, worth £430 million, was spotted in Tivit, Montenegro this morning after several Russian tycoons appeared to be moving their plush boats to safe havens amid sanctions over the Ukraine invasion. Montenegro and the Maldives do not have extradition treaties with the U.S., meaning that it is a safe haven for the yachts. Data reveals at least four yachts owned by Russian tycoons are now cruising around the Seychelles, Montenegro and the Maldives. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss said lawyers at the Foreign Office were building up watertight cases to successfully sanction Russian oligarchs in the UK. From BBC under the main headline of Queen pulls out of attending Commonwealth service. Summary of headline article. The Queen, who recently recovered from COVID, is said to regret not being able to attend the event celebrating the Commonwealth. In what would have been one of her biggest public appearances of the year so far. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Royal Regret. Summary of headline article. Prince Harry confirmed on Friday that he, Meghan and their two children, Archie and Lilibet, will not fly to the UK at the end of this month due to fears over their safety Prince Harry's. Decision to miss his grandfather's memorial service means the Queen is unlikely to meet Lilibet. Now, a royal expert has claimed that decision means the Queen, who has recently recovered from COVID, is unlikely to meet nine month old Lilibet. According to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, image Alexei Lubomirsky, Instagram. Alexei Lubomirsky, Instagram. Image. Getty Images for Global Citizen. Getty Images for Global Citizen. Will you be sad to see Harry miss the memorial? When asked about the possibility of the Queen ever meeting Lilibet, Mr. Fitzwilliams said, 
it's increasingly unlikely. Sign up for the Mirror's daily newsletter to get all the latest news on the Queen. Charles. Kate. Wills. Meghan. Harry and the rest of the firm. From The Guardian under the main headline of UK announces plan to ban exports of luxury goods to Russia. Summary of headline article. UK ministers have announced plans to pile further pressure on Vladimir Putin by banning exports of luxury goods to Russia as the health secretary accused Moscow of war crimes following repeated attacks on Ukrainian hospitals. The health secretary, Sajid Javid, heavily criticized Russia for its attacks on health facilities and accused its forces of war crimes. He said Russia must stop its aggression, describing the invasion of Ukraine as a war started by Russia. Completely unprovoked. Completely unjustified. The foreign secretary, Liz Truss, said the UK stood united with our G7 partners and that it would continue strengthening our response to put pressure on Russia. Writing in the Daily Telegraph. The conservative MP described Russia's invasion of Ukraine as the biggest failure of Western foreign and security policy in our lifetimes. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.